This is Pete Cunningham, sports writer with AnnArbor.com, and we're coming at you today. I'm joined with Bob Gross, who is a resident phone jockey for the high school sports coverage, but that's not why we're here today. We're here to talk with you about the biggest sporting event of the world, the World Cup. Uh, that's soccer for all you non-fans out there. So I personally have been champing at the bit for this for weeks, probably annoying my coworkers and everybody else uh, who's willing to listen to me for five minutes. But uh, it's finally starting tomorrow, and I can't wait. I just found out the World Cup was happening two weeks ago. Uh, I was watching a Coke commercial, and apparently they're having a big soccer tournament down in South Africa. But <laughs> speaking of South Africa, I've done a little research since, and apparently they're playing the first game. <laughs> yeah, so uh, we're getting to the brass tacks of things. Yeah, South Africa versus Mexico, our first game. And South Africa, the host nation. Now, a little interesting bit of history here. The host nation has never failed to advance past the group stages, but I really don't think it's in the cards for the South African side. Um, Mexico is just too strong, and Bafana, Bafana, I mean, you might be able to put on a party, but I'm not sure that you're going to be able to, uh, to get past Javier Aguirre and the boys. I like Mexico in this game, and I like Mexico in this group, Group A. Um, the Mexican side, you know, they're used to playing in front of hostile environments, usually created by their own fans. Um, and I like, you know, they got some young players with a lot of talent, Carlos Blayla. Uh, striker for Arsenal. I think he's going to make some noise. I like them to win this group and make a little bit of noise outside the group too. I don't know about outside the group just because they run into a pretty rough draw. Um, I think I was looking at some things and Mexico is the only team that could possibly play like five former world champions. But anyway, that's outside the point. Uh, let's get on to game two. Uruguay versus France. Now this is a game that I really have circled in red because I really like Diego Forlan and Luis Suarez, two strikers for Uruguay that I think are going to be the reason why Uruguay upsets France and comes out as the number two in this in this uh, group. For you gamblers out there, Diego Forlan is going off at 33-1 to one, and Luis Suarez is going off at 50-1 to one to be the top goal scorer for the tournament. Pretty heady stuff for the Uruguay squad. That said, not so fast, my friends. <laughs> I like France to win this game. Uh, they're a tougher squad. They got more class than the Uruguayans, and uh, they're losing some people from former teams. But I still like them put it together and win this game. See, I, I disagree because I don't think this is the France that we all have grown up knowing. Uh, Zidane, headbutts and all, he's gone. Henri, he's starting on the bench, and. Let's not forget, France only is in this tournament because of a handball against uh, lowly Ireland. So during the qualifying stages, that is. So this isn't Le Bleu of yesteryear. This is a whole different squad, and that's why I like Uruguay to come out of this group. Um, now, in terms of what's going on, where you're going to be watching the games, uh, there's some local places that have things going on. You're Usual suspects, I guess you should, could say. Conor O'Neill's is going to be opening up early and having breakfast during all the games because a lot of the starts are at 7 a.m. And they're going to be serving breakfast. The arena will be showing games. Although for the 7 a.m. start, the manager, I spoke with him, he said they're only going to uh, open up if enough fans say, yeah, we're going to show up. But other places around town, B-dubs, uh, Packard Pub, there's going to be a lot of cool stuff going on. So where do you plan on watching this first game? Couch surfing for the first day of games. Second day, we got England and the U.S. Please believe, we will be at Connor O'Neill's, and I will make you this offer. The first person to come up to me and call me a no-talent hack, you're getting a free drink. <laughs> Apparently, uh, I don't get a free drink because that's what I call Bob on the regular. So anyway, that's day one. Check out AnnArbor.com for daily links about stories from all over the world uh, covering the World Cup. And, of course, input from Bob and I throughout the Cup. So if you guys have any stories to tell us about the World Cup, anything to share, feel free to email us, petercunningham at annarbor.com. Uh, that again, petercunningham at annarbor.com. I'm Pete Cunningham. He's Bob Gross. And we're out.